Because we planted one row of potatoes two days ago, right? Good Friday. Good Friday. So we ran out of time. And then the holiday weekend. So he's been back there planting the dirt. I think he's rotoring. Tilling. Uh, something. Yeah. Making noise and turning up dirt. Okay, we'll go with that. So I'm cutting the eyes out of the potato. For him. Last time... He used my foot to measure heel to toe, if anybody understands that. This is the juicy part helping to grow better too? It's got to be where the eyes are. Okay, I just didn't know. These are some nasty potatoes, guys. It gets you all dirty. That's why I put an apron on. Because they're like the potatoes that go kind of bad ish. Ugh. The things I've already learned with this man. This is going to learn me some more, but the things I've already learned. I thought when he first told me we we're going to do this, I thought, oh, okay, fine. I'll cut the eyes out and I'll be able to use the rest of the potato and can the potato. Uh -uh. Some of these can the potatoes are real nasty when you cut into them. I mean, this one might not have been so bad. But I don't know how old these potatoes are. I didn't know them. Well, that's your, they're last from last year's seed potatoes. You think they're from last year's seed potatoes? Mm -hmm. He knows this stuff. It's in his blood, I think. There you just cut the eyes out and rest of it, rest of it. Mainly, one time you throw it away. If it ain't got no eye in it. If it ain't got no eye in it. Not any, any, any one. Worth it. You're after that big stuff. Like that. That's good. That's good? Yep. Here in a few weeks we'll have they'll be popping up out of the ground. So in a few weeks we will have potatoes popping up out of the ground, he says. I'm gonna take his word for it because I got no freaking clue myself. He puts three about three cuts per a spot. That's how Grandpa and Dad did it. So. Just cut that one eye out and that's it. Rest of it ain't, ain't no count. Ain't no eyes. He almost could have saved that though. Hey. I'm going to pause you guys for a minute. A neighbor walked up. So I asked you, do you think you guys going to want that wood? Because if not, I know somebody else will take it. Alright, you guys. A neighbor came by inside. I stopped it for a minute, but we ended up with a big old bowl of of uh, potato with eyes. And let me pause you guys. And we got to do this together. And look, he got dirt on his nose. He's still handsome as all get out. Even with the dirt smudge on his cute nose. Oh, I'm going to go plant. 
Yes, there's a boot involved in planting, guys. You go heel to toe. The only difference is my foot ain't in it this time. I think he just enjoyed me having my foot in there so he could look at my hiney where it's down on the floor. <laughs> Shut this gate behind me. I, I Make will. Make sure you don't leave him out here. I by won't. He'll, he'll crawl between, between them things. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he called me Henri Thang. Oh, but he was talking about Shadow Shadow. The dog is down there on his bed. Whew. Yeah, so give me a minute and I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so I'll go back there in a minute and show you guys what he's doing. Um, with that, with the planting of the potatoes, but y'all notice I am. Um, Changed the channel. Instead of being Janie's Crazy Life, it's now um, Janie and Dan the Man. Um, do a little update with everything, okay? Um, Dan and I are going to get married. We don't know when yet. He proposed. I said yes. So we're going to get married. So mostly we're living in Ohio. Okay. Um, not selling my house. If anything, we'll go back and forth. Um, it's just, he's got grandchildren in Ohio. So I love the man enough to come and stay mostly in Ohio with him. Um, and Nathan's at the house, you know, Nathan lives there. Um, and Nathan knows that if he, he and his partner move in together, I'm okay with it. Now, if somebody wants to stop following me because I let my gay son move a partner into my house, well, go ahead and stop following me because if you know me, you know that just because, and this is not to offend anybody in any way, shape, or form, anywhere, just because um, I accept or don't accept my son being gay, I, what I do is I accept, I don't necessarily accept that he's gay. I accept that he has the right to live his life however he wants to. And that I am not his judge and jury. He knows how I feel about that. I don't agree. Uh, but I love my son. And ultimately in this life, we walk our own path. And we are judged for the way we walk our path. Um, some people say, oh, it's a sin. Well, so is lying. So is stealing. So is cheating. So... They're all the same in God's eyes. Doesn't so is killing someone. They're all the same in God's eye. He does not differ, differ, differentiate. I got it out. I believe he does not to one being bigger than the other. Some are more, in my opinion, some are more doozies than others. But you know, hey, it's not my place to judge my son. It's my place to have unconditional love. And as long as he respects me, I respect him. And as long as I'm open and honest with him how I feel about it, but I still love him, I have a right to my opinion, just like he has a right to his opinion. So that being said, you know, there'll be times I might mention something. But, you know, hey, he lives his life. I love him no matter what. He loves me no matter what. So... Um, But, um, yeah, I decided that it was, I love Dan enough to move here. Um, and be, I haven't technically moved yet. We, uh, we do go back and forth like we're going to Kentucky tomorrow. So, and we'll be there a few days. So, it, you know, it's a back and forth thing. Um, sometime, some, sometimes the, the trips are closer together. Sometimes they're a few days further apart. 
but that's okay. Um, but I thought I'd just explain to you guys for a minute before I go back and show him, show you him putting the potatoes in the ground, how he does it, and show you the garden he's tilled up. I thought I'd take a minute and have a cigarette. I'm trying to quit these things. Um, again, but, um, I can explain to you guys. Yeah, I changed the name of the channel to uh, Janie and Dan the Man because everybody refers to him as Dan the Man. Pretty, there's been people referred to him as Dan the Man. And I joke around telling me he's Dan the Man. So, And I think I'll comment in a couple other videos, Dan the Man. Because Dan is an awesome man, you guys. He really is. Um, I know some people say, oh, you're going so quick. But you know what? When you reach a certain age and you find that person and you just completely click with them, you, you just know. He is unlike my ex-husband. He is unlike the ex-relationship I had. And uh, even when, I, when I'm not happy about something, I can tell Dan I'm not happy about it. And he doesn't ignore it. And that's a sign, too, that he's the right one, you know. Um, not that I'm unhappy about anything, but just little things, you know. And this man does not take me for granted at all. At all. I mean, I can cook him anything. He'll eat it. He might say, hey, can you try it this way? And the only thing he said that to was potato salad. <laughs> so it isn't even it isn't even a bunch of dishes. It's been one thing. And mashed homemade mashed potatoes we don't agree about putting a raw egg in it um but um he's just he appreciates everything i do i appreciate everything he does we totally click from day one um and i wasn't even going to start dating him or meet him until the first of this year i did it in september when my friend said you've got to meet this one jd this one you gotta meet you know, in Florida, when I was getting my divorce, I joked around about how I was going to go to Kentucky and find my Bubba. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I found my Bubba. Um, is he a Bubba? No. Um, his kids have accepted me. I'm close with three of the grandchildren, two great-grandchildren and one grandchild because we babysit a little three-year-old um, little girl on um, four days a week. And... Um, I'm close to her. Last night I was giving her a bath before her mama came and picked her up late. And halfway through the bath, she said, JJ, because they call me JJ. They don't call me Nana. Dan is a widower, and I'm not Nana. I don't want to be Nana. I'm not taking Nana's place. But I know being with Dan, being that he's Paps, he's Grandpa, Great Grandpa, whatever, I am a grandmother figure. But, um, but the kids all call me JJ, and I'm okay with that. Say, I can be JJ for the next 20 years. I'm okay with that. Um, <clears throat> um, I've said it before. One of the reasons why I dated, was more interested in dating a widower than somebody who had an ex I had to deal with is because I know that that woman went to her grave, unfortunately, knowing that a man loved her till the day she died. So... That was my, that was something I, I, I chose to, to, to be more interested in widows. Um, because I'll admit, when I dated that one guy after my divorce, and he was a three-time divorcee, I did wonder why. <laughs> so, um, and Dan doesn't want to be alone for the rest of his life, and neither do I. We want to, re we wanted to remarry again and, and, and have a, an everlasting with somebody, have more years with somebody. Um, I have met his siblings in Pennsylvania and instantly connection with even them um, before we even left the couple day trip that we went up to visit them they were already saying I was a sister so um, and I was already part of the family in fact I think one of his brothers joked around with him just within 20 minutes of meeting me and whatever or half hour with him meeting me and said you better pop him ring on that girl that one that one the, her finger on that woman's finger and uh when we told them the news that he popped the question a few weeks back or a month ago whatever it was they were like about time <laughs> so 
I talk to his sister regularly on the phone. Her name is Jane, so. Um, but it's just right. It's just right. You know? I mean, yeah, the first initial attraction, you know, when I first got attracted to him as a person on the phone. But I have to admit, y'all, his cousin was pleased with the outer, outer package. I think he's a very handsome man. Very handsome man. Um, the long hair thing I was not used to. The long beard, I find it very attractive. But if anybody knows what I find attractive about a man is their hands. Okay, I think hands are sexy. Um, but I still say to this day, what I love the most about Dan is him, who he is inside. His personality, um, the way he treats me, the way he talks to me, um, just that is what I'm more attractive to. So y'all could hit him with an ugly stick and I still think he was very attractive. And I do notice that women notice him when we go out. So they do check him out. I mean, because when he puts on a nice pair of jeans and pulls his hair back in a ponytail and combs his beard and slicks his hair back, he's an attractive man. As long as they don't touch him, okay. <laughs> so one of them touches him, I might get a little jealous. But... I just wanted to catch you guys up, and I thought since he don't mind being in the video some, he's going to be a little shy at first, I think. Um, might as well just involve you guys in our lives together. And and I've been doing more videotaping. I've got, this will be my, uh, like, I'm going to try to get them closer together. I don't, don't know how much of the kids I'm going to put in it because there are creepos out there. And I don't really know if I want to put a lot of the grandchildren in the videos. Um, so there'll be times, like in the last video, where I shut it off because little Macy's used to get in her way a little bit. Uh, that's a three-year-old. And uh, uh, we've cracked down. We've done some work on on his house because he always wanted to after he and his wife bought it. But she got ill and he could not do painting and stuff like that. So we've done some stuff. And um, if I'm going to be in their lives... And live with him and live with them in my life um, there's certain rules and stuff that you know JJ's gonna want at the house and so is Paps so and his kids get as she's coming into her threes and fives and fours and fives she's getting her own personality so um, kids know kids know um, you've even incorporated sitting at the table to eat because you guys are going to find out. Macy can make messes. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> we were out planting the... I think I told you on another video. We were out planting the, the fruit trees when she was taking a nap. And we were checking on her. Like we dig a hole, go check on her. Dig a hole, go check on her. Pack the plant, go in and check on her. We both were like checking on her every minute or two. And in just a split second, that child... Grabbed the salt shaker off the stand, off the, off the, tea, off the end table next to where Dan sits. Because he has a salt shaker there. Because sometimes, you know, we eat a dinner in front of a movie. Uh, well, we had a table too, but <laughs> just split seconds. Salt was everywhere. And there was a bag of uh, Frito chili uh, chips. <laughs> they were everywhere. So that, I, I had to quit. I had to quit um, helping him. <laughs> because I had to clean the house up. So, Macy gets messy. <laughs> but I love the little girl. I love her. I'm very thankful to have her in my life. Because with Nathan being gay, I knew I was having no biological children with him, grandchildren. And with my daughter, Katie, and her husband transgendering into a woman, I don't see grandchildren happening there. And Katie suffers from bipolar, and I don't think they need any. Now, I'm probably going to get in trouble for making that statement. <clears throat> but I think they need to, um, if they didn't already have one, I think with the transgendering, maybe down the road someday they can adopt or something. But they're both young, and they need to figure out their life a little bit. And, you know, whatever they want to do, the choices. But I just don't see any grandchildren right now coming for me. Um, 
I'm, I don't want to get into it, but Katie and I are not on talking terms right now. So, um, but that's, I don't want to get into that. I love her dearly. Her birthday was on the 9th, and I wished her happy birthday, told her I loved her, and happy Easter. And then I sent it to my ex-husband to make sure that she got the message. Um, I did not make a phone call because the last couple phone calls I've made, I had a can of whoop-ass opened on myself. And, um... I don't need it. And like I said, I'm not going to get into that because that's personal on her behalf and I don't want to do that on here. This is an uplifting, positive channel. <laughs> and right now, life is good. Right now, I'm happy. Right now, Nathan's happy. I've not met the young man that he's involved with yet, um, but I will eventually. Um, we're just, ha we're, you know, I'm happy. I keep in contact with some friends in Florida, and I keep in contact with my mom's brother, my his un my uncle, and I keep in contact with a niece, Phil's, the ex-husband Phil's niece, and I uh, talk to her um, a couple times here and there once in a while, and uh, I've spoke to my sister's daughter, my niece, a time or two, I think, but I'm happy, guys. I'm very happy. Uh, when I set a date, I'll let people know. I told Florida I'll probably try to live stream it if I can. So they can see it all. But before this gets too long, let me um, put the dog in the house. Because he, he escapes. If I'm not kidding. I've been told. Let me put the dog in the house. Let me go back and show you what Dan's doing. Okay? Well, we may not have made it in time. Looks like he is done. Yep, it looks like he's done. He's, uh, what they call it, tilling it up. But he, um, put a row of potatoes right there. He takes his time because he's bit up with arthritis, but, you know, he's not one of these guys who's just going to sit around and do nothing. Um, and he's going to pay for this later. He'll be hurting. But we got a row of potatoes. Um, if I can show you guys. Got a row of potatoes there. Row of potatoes there. Is that the only row you're going to do? You're not doing a third row, are you? I could want two rows of the red potatoes, right? Two rows of red potatoes. Look how well our our fruit trees are doing. Oh yeah, I'll be canning the crap out of potatoes this year. But look at the how well our fruit trees are doing. Look, even these apples over here that when we put them in the ground, they didn't have anything green on them. Look, they got green on them now. See? They got green on them. So we did something right. I'll leave it all up to Dan. Because I'd done killed him by now if it was me. Look at that. That might have been a pear tree, the first one. This is apple. Or maybe these are apple and that's pear. I don't know anymore. I do have it numbered on a piece of paper. Is that last one over here, pear? All right, so these are, these are the two pear trees, and these are two apple trees. Okay, that's a pear. They just kind of grow about the same. They look kind of the same. I guess because they're similar. I don't know. Well, I just wanted to show you all his garden real quick. I don't know what's going to be in the rest of this brown dirt. don't know yet. I know we're going to be doing some peas. Um... They're called lady fingers or cream peas or something. I got three varieties because growing up, my um, um, grandmother used to have these peas that looked like black eyes, but they were green, and I loved them. And I don't know what they were because there's nobody alive that could tell me. So I Googled them, found pictures, and read the write-ups on the peas, and... The one that I think is least it is the one that says it's a southern dish. 
So I ordered them. We're going to plant them. Um, and then I'm just going to taste them and see. Cook them up and taste them. But I wanted to show you guys this. I wanted to catch you guys up. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully um, there will be a lot more videos. Um, but as I always say, like and subscribe. And enjoy the craziness of life because you might uh, laugh about it when you tell a friend. Oh, and real quick. These things right here. That is um, another fruit, a blackberry or something. We planted blackberries and raspberries. So we've got raspberries and blackberries here going up and down on the side of this fence. Uh, but again, enjoy the craziness of life because you might tell a friend about it. See you on the next video. Bye.